I designed today I would like to share the properties of relationship first reflexive. Reflexive means that each and every element must relate to itself. Meaning to say, when we look at the matrix relation, all the diagonal entries equal to 1. And for the time graph, we are able to find loop for all the vertices. For irreflexive, it should be the other way where all the diagonal entries equal to 0. And we couldn't find any looping for the vertices. 3. Symmetric. If we have a relation A to B, then we must be able to find the relation B to A. In other words, this is a two-way relationship. If when we talk about the diagonal, is that important? Not important. Meaning to say we could have loop or we might not see loop. What we want here, our concern is just the upper triangular and the lower triangular. It must be the reflection of each other. In other words, if we see a 1 here, then we must see a 1 here. If we see 0, then here must also be 0. Must be a reflection of each other. For anti-symmetry, not like symmetry, if we see a 1 here, opposite must be 0. However, if we see 0 here, then what is the opposite is not important. Meaning to say this must be a one-way relation. If we are able to find A relates B, then B must not relate to A. And if we want to have low, is it possible? Yes. So under any symmetry, looping is not important because we might have, we might not. So meaning to say when we check, we can ignore this part. What we have to do, we just check for the one-way relation. And for asymmetry, is the combination of anti-symmetry and irreflexive. We should have only a one-way relation. If we have A relates to B, then B must not relate to A. At the same time, for all the vertices, we should not see any looping, which means that the diagonal entries all equal to zero. Now, the last point, transitive. Transitive is a conditional relation. If A relates to B and B relates to A, then we must be able to find a shortcut that A directly relates to C. So A relates to B and B relates to C. As we can see, this is a two length of two path. And we could able to reduce to length one path, which means that A to B, then B to C with length two, now A directly to C with length one, a shortcut. We have to bear in mind that when we see if then, this is actually an implied logical statement. So for implied statement, if we have through, implied through, then the value is through. If we have through implied false, then the value false. However, if we have false, then what does it imply is no longer important because as long as we start with false, what is the conclusion? Not important will always be true. Let's take this example to understand better. So we have a set with elements 1, 2, and 3 and the relation as given. So we check one by one for the first property reflexive. We have to make sure that each and every element 
is able to relate to itself. Unfortunately, we can only find 1, 1 and 3, 3, but not 2, 2. So 2, 2 is missing. 2, 2 is not the element of R. Meaning to say this is not reflexive. 2, irreflexive. As long as we see loop, regardless how many we could find, as long as 1, then it's not irreflexive. Irreflexive must be or cannot relate to itself. Okay, three, we have to make sure it's a two-way relation. So one, one is the loop. So loop is not important, no need to check. Then two, one, two, one, then we must able to find one, two. As we can see, not here. 2, 1 is the element of the relation, but 1, 2 is not. Means that we are not able to get this element from the relation. So this is not a two-way relation, then this is not symmetry. For symmetry, we have to make sure that all elements are able to match with the other element to get a two-way relation. Okay, for anti-symmetry. Anti-symmetry, as we can see, look also not important. We just have to make sure it's a one-way relation. So two to one, one to two, not here. So yes, correct. Then three to one, one three is not here, correct. 3 to 2, 2 not to 3, correct. So we don't have to check for the looping because looping is not important under the S anti symmetry. So this is correct. This is anti symmetry because all one way relation. Okay, fifth, asymmetry. Although it's anti symmetry because just a one-way relationship can be found. However, we could find also loop. Then this is not as symmetry. We have to make sure that no looping and all one-way relations. Then only asymmetry. Next, transitive. If let's say we are not familiar with this relation, I would suggest that we can actually build a table to see better. So for looping under transitive, we can actually ignore because if A relates B and B relates C, then we could able to find a shortcut where a relates C. So if A, B both 1, 1, and B definitely be 1, and C also be 1. So the shortcut will be A, C, which is 1, 1. So as we can see, loop definitely is transitive. So we can actually ignore looping. So we check for others. Okay, now we have A, B, then followed by B, C, then we have A, C. So for the first one, we look at 2, 1. For 2, 1, as we can see, this is the range. So we must find an element that start with, or what we call the domain, with 1. Then we go and find. Do we have 1? Yes, we have here. So the domain is 1 and the range is also 1. Then we come here and write 1. So shortcut A to C, which is 2, 1. Do we have 2, 1 in the relation? Yes, we have. So meaning to say this is true because from the relation, this is also true from the relation, through and through imply through. So through value, 
through. Okay, according to the condition through and through imply we have through. So true value through. Okay, next we go to the next element three one. So three one again range one. So must pair with an element that begins with one or what we call a domain is one. So refer back to the relation and then we get one. So this one can be obtained from the relation. This one also obtained from the relation. Then shortcut is 3, 1. Again, the true value is true. Okay, the next element we have 3, 2. So we have 3, 2. Then this is the range. So we must find an element with domain 2. From the relation, we can see that we have 2, 1. So we come here to 1. So the shortcut should be 3, 1. Do we have 3, 1? Yes, we have. So this is also true. If we are able to match all the relation with the shortcut, then this is considered transitive because all the true values here true. If let's say we have another element called 1, 3, so we have to check for this as well. So we come here and write 1, 3. For this, the range is 3, meaning to say we must find an element that starts with 3. So we check, we have 1, 2, and 3. So from here, we just check one by one. So the first one, 3, 1. So shortcut is 1, 1. Do we have 1, 1? Yes, we have. Then next, 1, 3 again. Now we go to 3, 2, the second. So do we have 1, 2? We check. 1, 2, unfortunately, we don't have. We just have 2, 1, but we don't have 1, 2. So 1, 2 is missing. So the false, the value is false. Then here, through and through imply false. So I'm saying through imply false, we have false. For transitive, as long as we are able to find a false value regardless how many true values we have then the transitive is being violate and this will say that this will conclude that this is not transitive how we let's say we add another call we add another element four then we have one four Start with one four. Okay, then we check. Do we have any element that begins or domain is four? No, we don't have. As we can see here, all not starting from four. So meaning to say this will be false and this will be true and false. So true and false means that false if we have false imply then what is the outcome not important do we need to check for this no need because this is already false for any implied logical statement when we start with false what is the outcome is not important automatically true However, regardless how many true values we have, as long as we are able to find one, then automatically this is not transitive. Okay, that's all for the day. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.